Been on the ship today in Isafjordur, Iceland. And of course, whoops, we have to take a water shuttle from the Island Princess. And that's the town. And that's the whole town. <laughs> so we're gonna walk around a little bit and get back on the ship. It's about like Maldives. It's cold, but right now it's not raining. It was earlier. Yeah, Janet says it's like Valdez, Alaska. And it kind of is. Especially those hillsides. We are pulling away now from the ship. Oh, it is still there. That's a different ship. There's the summit. So seven summits there. And I think we have the Maya something to say. Could be a short trip inside the breakwater. There you have it, Island Princess. 250 meters away. And we're in a fjord. And this is the, this is the town. I saw the order. If you're lucky. Yeah. And that looks like a finger uh, boat, but it looks like we're going there. So maybe that's the celebrity summit finger, I don't know. Well, look at that. We just got off the tender boat. These people are waiting to get back on. They've had enough yeah. of Is of the order. Do you want an umbrella to carry around? How much are the umbrellas? Oh, you can probably free loaner umbrellas. It's mine. I don't want to get in the picture. Thank you. Well, Hi. Hey, gas station. Well, everyone seems to go this way, so let's go this way. I know very little about this town, other than it is in the west, the west coast of Iceland. So if we could go straight that way, it's Greenland, which is our next stop in three days, four days. No, our next stop is Reykjavik, and then Greenland. Where? Okay, so the important thing here is we're that blue X, and the town is there and there. Let's, whoop, oh, right through a puddle. So, no idea what that says. But I do notice some people go that way and some people went this way. I think we should go this way. But stay out of the way of cars. Stay out of the way of puddles. <laughs> the water is clear. But you can see that. And a lot of boats. And flowers. And it smells like fish. Not strong. It smells like fresh fish, not rotten fish. So the tender boat led us off over that way by the Sam Skip cargo containers. Uh, this is the uh, tender boat for the celebrities. And we walked down and we're just going to go out this way. For a moment we thought maybe we were going the wrong way. But we're cool. Looks like we're getting ready to pour some concrete. came out of there, we probably could have walked up and come this way. The whole town is this way though. So, some of these houses look pretty old. And some look pretty new. I will say that it looks 
pretty random, some of it. And it says, look at the poppies. Now you know where Icelandic poppies come from. Icelandic. So that's like an alleyway, I guess. And then these must be, I don't know, apartments? Lots of windows on them. We reached the end, the breakwater. So we're going to walk out here and have a look and then head back into town. See what there is to see. It is fairly big. I mean, it's solid in there. So our ship there, the Island Princess, that's Celebrity Summit. And that's Azamara, I don't know, Quest? Coming in. And these are colored rocks. We're going to head that way. So the Azamara, I can't read the name, it's, it's going to get in front of all of us. Something to peek. Um, there's this place. Pursuit. Azamara Pursuit. A lot of graffiti down here. It's pretty though. I mean, this old ship. Uh, I think that might be a fire station. So we're gonna come off the ocean trail and walk through the buildings here a little bit. It's begun to rain. And two people sharing an umbrella is difficult when one of them wants to make videos. So this is a Catholic church. Kirkja, or John, is church, I believe. And it has a garage. Subaru. So here's somebody's uh, yard. Dwarfs and gnomes and puffins. I had to take my microphone off because it was getting soaked in the rain. Uh, we've come from way down there. We went up through there, but now we're back on this coastal path. We're going to walk over there. We see a trail going up the side of this mountain that we're going to take for a little ways. We're not going all the way to the top, so don't get excited. But we're going part way up. So there's the coastal path. We're coming up. There's our ship. We're going up this road. We're trying to find what we see up there, which you can't see, but we keep getting glimpses of a trail up there and a stairs and a bridge. But we wanted to head through town anyway, so I guess this is as good a way as any. Hey, they got their own house. They're moving out. We came down that road. I guess we could have come up there because that's where we walked through earlier. The tenders are just right off there. We see people up there, see? They're on a trail of some sort. I think this is a tour group. And that's where we're trying to get. You see all the people up there on the grassy knoll? There's the Azamara ship. Um, we found a trail. These people ahead of us said they saw people going on this trail, so we're going to go on this trail. It is steep and maybe a little slippery because it's raining, but it's not bad. I'm not, I mean, I haven't slipped. The weeds here are pretty tall. The dandelions are giant size. I mean, that's my hand, right? Not real fluffy because of the rain. And the path is straight up, <laughs> straight up. So we're about halfway up and that's the town. I mean, there's other buildings along here, but that's basically the town. And on the far edge, 
that's where the tenders are. Tenders are. Tenders are. And yes, I am breathing hard now. So this trail goes off that way. We may go there next. And there's a creek in there. I don't think it has salmon though. So we found a trail here leading to stairs, leading up to there. And it's like people are looking at something up there. So let's go up. There's a trail heading down, another trail heading that way. I see benches there. So you could walk along the street and come up here. These mountains are pretty tall. It does not go to the top of the mountains, I don't think. So it's this kind of stairway. You know, metal, open. That's the mud off your shoes. Not very slippery, even in the rain, although could be, I guess. And a nice chain link fence with a wall, a rock wall. The path here is pretty rocky, so be careful. <laughs> See what I mean? As we get up here, there's another rock wall, just like the one we're on, with a path on top, and a forest. Now remember, in Iceland, the only native tree is birch. And the early settlers cut almost all of them down and burned them for warmth and cooking. So this pine forest is not natural. Somebody planted it. And we're gonna see what all the hubbub is. Bub. And I believe it's just the end of the line. Yeah, I'm breathing hard. Apparently people go that way. Oh, there's people up there. This is the end, unless you go up across there. I'm not sure what their plan is. Oh, that is pretty steep up there. See the people? I mean, it's not straight up, but it's almost straight up. Yeah, maybe not so much. Signpost up ahead. Next stop, the Island Princess. I think in the water out there is some sort of aquaculture. See that? Mussels or oysters or salmon or something. I don't know. So this would be the uh, shortcut up straight up from town um we're gonna head down stroll around the town a little bit oh so we were way up there actually up a little further came down this road um that's the name of it for that one and we're gonna head right down here And it says, look, a little forest, park. Remember, hey, none of these trees are natural here, native to Iceland, only a birch. And I don't see any birch in there. So these were all planted. Of course, what park isn't planted, right? 
Oh, it's got the gates to the park. And the trash can to the park. That's the park. Janet says this is a hospital. That's pretty big. Not sure what that building is, but I'm going to look it up and let you know. And they've got something covered here. They also have some sort of stone monument here. People are going in it. Oh, I think that's a museum. Fisherman statue. That is what this building is. So we're going to go up there, see what there is. So, library, among other things. stairs. What is that? A whistle? A flute? Well, it's one of those. Close this off. Hey, it's Janet. and a pride flag and an obstacle course surgical equipment. So here's a map of the, I'm going to call it the northwestern tip of Iceland. And here's Isifjordard and da da da. And here's where we are, Isifjordard. Actually we're right there. Oh. I was wrong, that's not dirt covered up with plastic, it's some sort of giant trampoline. And somebody has taken all their clothes off out here and just left them. And somebody else has drawn a wiener, I believe. Anyway, no shoes. Huh. Looks fun, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It does say no shoes, though. I wouldn't worry about it. Let's see what this is. Some sort of statue. Monument. Uh, I think some of the letters are missing. 
1988. They've slid down. We've left the uh, library museum. Statue of people catching fish. Princess Cruises. And we're coming up to a Kirk Jagata. Now Kirk is church. And that's, a, oh, maybe it's church cemetery? I don't know. Oh, the old man in the sea. People walking around in there. And there's a church. I probably got water on my lens, huh? Eight. 1877-1947 Closed because of a ceremony. Oh, we won't go in. That's it. This is it from the outside though. And I don't want to interrupt anybody. Now that says, I'm guessing 1946, right? 1898 to 1967. So it's a big cemetery. A lot of the writing is worn off. And that's the church. So oh, there's the cemetery, there's the library museum, there's the trail up the mountain, there's the church that is having a special event and doesn't want us to come in. Uh, we're back to the waterfront, kind of. I guess you could say we're in the heart of town. That's the way we came up, over there. And so we're going back a different way. See, they have these bars here so you can't run across the street because we've noticed that some of the drivers in this town are, are nuts. But... We drive very fast. Most of them are pretty good. So if you think you pay a lot for gas, they pay 329 whatever that is, for a gallon of 95 octane. They only have 95 octane and diesel. So I, of course, drive on, what, 89 octane, 87? If you need it, there's a hostel here. Um, and if you can answer that question, let me know. Ooh, broken. Dual pane glass, though, dual glazed. What is the answer? And I'm not sure what that building is. So we're walking down that way. We thought we'd cut over here in case you need it. There's a barber shop. I noticed they use the same striped pole we use in US. And this says it's a church. We're gonna head back out to the main road again. The rain hasn't let up. I mean, it gets stronger and weaker, but it's still raining, raining, raining. Getting on the lens. Miesti Neto. Kafahus Bacarans. So this looks like the original part of town, maybe. You know, with the shops and restaurants. So here we are in town, coffee house. Gull, I think that's a kind of a beer, right? Hagia. Snickers. Workwear. Shops. Uh, this must be a pizza restaurant. 
serves the finest gall beer. I think it's beer. Valcomen. Did you want to go look? Still coming down the street. There's the church way up there. Starting to rain a little bit harder. Here's a department store. <laughs> so like if uh, your luggage got lost, you could go in there and buy some clothes. I'm not sure what that is. It's a Hversvagadatsen. Museum of Everyday Life. Janet says it's a museum. People messed it up. Why do they do that? Ooh, your brain is amazed. Or amazing. Festival 2014, Romania. Some of these stores are, are buildings. Are brand new and modern. Look at that. There's the Hotel is a order. The Rainbow Road. Follow the Rainbow Road. Follow, 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 follow the Rainbow Road. Follow the rainbow, follow the rainbow, follow the... Wait, taste the rainbow. Bajorn's bud. I think that's a dispensary. There's a hotel. There's a rainbow road. Hey, 50%. Does, doesn't say off or anything, it just says 50%. So it could be more. I guess, right? Not sure what these are. A lot of ship people crowding around down here. My body is here, but my mind is in Iceland. Wait, my body is in Iceland too right now. That must mean something. Yeah. What? Everything's just the same thing. I'm gonna look that up. Into a building with all these people's pictures on it. Sajalin, the letter D. And then pillars with these on them. Wow. And I guess this is the store where you can get them. Down there, I'm going to call that downtown is a field. And we're just headed off this way. I think the tender boats are over here to my left. But we're going to head down to the water here. Of course, you can't go that way. And then uh, work our way back. The rain has let up a lot. It's just a light sprinkle now. I can probably see it on the camera lens. So there's all these gift shops. It's 138 Icelandic kroner to the dollar. So do the math. Oh, I think these are businesses maybe that used to be houses, but maybe they're houses. I mean, the downtown is just right around that bin there. Actually, it's just there. So, I'm not sure. This doesn't seem like a house. But maybe it is. Of course, those are boats, so we're at the water. Ooh, people in kayaks. Let's walk over there a little bit. 
tours. <laughs> Eagle tours. This looks like a restaurant that's maybe not open. Seems like three ships in port, you'd be open. All right, there's the church that was closed, and the cemetery, and the library museum. That's downtown there. There's people out there on kayaks. That's the trail we walked up. Now when you're on up there, and you look up, you see that first ridge. And you don't see that second ridge, higher ridge. Which is what I was thinking when that guy was climbing up. He thinks he's climbing to the top and he's got a lot further to go. And there's probably another higher ridge behind that. The fog is lifting, the clouds are lifting, the sun's coming out. But you can start to see the snow still on the mountains. And this is the middle of August. See the snow all through there? Well, apparently, we went right to it. That's the uh, map I recorded earlier at the very beginning. Oh, so we can't come over there. Oh, so what's this? Oh. Going on a tour, I guess. Okay, well, almost right to it. Azamara Pursuit. And this, I guess, is a tour. And I see two tenders working. So from Isafjordur, Iceland, this is Gareth and Janet saying Port Monkey's out. We'll see you in the next port. Bye. Bye. on board the Island Princess and is a Fjordier. That's like a highway along there. The town is behind me on the other side of the ship. You see a car on there. And we are in a fjord. That's the celebrity summit there anchored next to us. And you can see snow. That's snow on the mountainside over there of a of this fjord. The sun has come out, it's blue sky. It's a shame that it rained all day on us, but you can get a better look at the hillside there. I mean, so these are lava flow on top of a lava flow and then erosion wears the fjords. And I don't know what that guy's doing, going in circles.